I'm three and a half weeks postpartum and we got in a car accident. That was a big fart. Did you toot toot? Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. This is the one in which I am filming for the first time since the baby was born. So we do have a baby in the house now, <laughs> a newborn specifically. So that's been a struggle, but it's also been a lot of fun. And this vlog is going to be the reading vlog in which I read a ridiculous amount of sci-fi. So that's interesting. <laughs> Anyway, that's been my mood for the past few months, so I'm not that surprised, but just so you know, lots of sci-fi in this one, but I'm thrilled about it, I'm having a great time, and I can't wait for you to see where this week goes, because this is also the one where we get in a car accident, I am filming this intro in the future when I look better, <laughs> but we got in a car accident, it's like a thing, you'll hear about it in a minute, but yeah, I'm really excited about the books, so let me just show you what I am reading now, which is Winter's Orbit by Evrena Maxwell and Artificial Condition by Martha Wells. So these are the books that I'm starting this vlog with, and if you don't know what these are about, this is space opera with a gay romance at the center and I am almost finished with this. I'm reading this with the TBR book club on Instagram and it is amazing so far. I'm almost done with it starting this vlog. I'm about a hundred pages from the end, give or take. I don't remember exactly where I was. I'm reading the ebook now because reading physical books with a baby is very difficult. So everything is going to be ebook or audiobook at this point and going forward for a while. And then I also was listening to the audiobook of Artificial Condition and I was only a third of the way into this. I also got the ebook from the library for this one. So very excited. That's just what I started with. I also was currently reading Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb right up here and I am listening to that on audiobook and I checked out the illustrated edition ebook from my library's app called Cloud Library. I also have To Be Taught of Fortunate by Becky Chambers on the Cloud Library app as well and this is a character driven sci-fi novella so I'm excited about this. I got this recommendation from Emily Fox so Let's see if I like it. I don't know anything about it other than that and that this cover is beautiful. There we are. And yeah, it's just a chill week of the baby freaking out because she's going through a developmental leap. She's now five weeks old, so that's part of it. And then car accident last week. And then those are the sci-fi books that I'm reading. So buckle up, it's a wild one and it's chaotic and I apologize ahead of time so I'm sorry for the chaos I bring to the world. <laughs> Hi hello, it's been a minute for me. Welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, May 17th. I haven't been on camera in a while because we finally had our baby so no more pregnancy stuff. I am not pregnant anymore. We're adjusting to having a newborn. She's almost a month old and it's been crazy <laughs> to say the least. Life looks a little different now. I need a haircut severely as you can tell it's been a minute. <laughs> In my last vlog that you've probably seen I had very short hair so yeah so chill week. This is the last week before my husband goes back to working from home. So he'll still be home, but he'll be working during the day. So I won't have as much help, but yeah. So let's uh, talk about what I'm reading. I am still reading Winter's Orbit. I was almost done when I went into labor the first time. Crazy story, you don't wanna know. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk about the birth at some point, 
if people want it but not going to right now so i was reading winter's orbit went into labor didn't get to finish it because life happened i just got the ebook for this from the library so that i can read on my phone i love this book with all of my heart and i can't wait to finish it but i'm also not ready to let it go and the other book that i'm currently reading is still royal assassin i stopped reading this back in august when i got pregnant because a character in the book got pregnant and that made me nervous about what's gonna happen because robin hobb has the habit of breaking my heart with her characters so i didn't want to keep reading for fear of what would happen i only have 100 pages left of this as well and yeah hopefully it doesn't get really crazy because emotionally i'm not ready and i still have one more book this is the second book in the farseer trilogy and i do own the third book but it scares me so i am looking forward to finishing this but i don't know when i'll get to the third book because of fear so we will see royal assassin is the other book that i'm working on i have this on audiobook and i also have it on ebook i believe that's the other book i'm working on and then i think i have some on my phone hold on the other book i have on libby is cody by jared Cullum. this is a children's graphic novel i believe i heard really good things about it and yeah i just want to read it it sounds cute i've heard really good things that's what i'm currently reading winter's orbit royal assassin cody and i may re check out dragon actually but probably not but yeah, that is what I'm currently reading. Today is a chill day. My husband has no plans. I don't really have any plans. We will just take care of baby and do the dishes and do laundry and <laughs> all of that stuff we just do on repeat every single day with a newborn. Hopefully I can get some reading in at the same time. I've been listening to audiobooks while feeding her and doing just little piddly tasks around the house. So yeah, that's, that's what's happening. All right, happy Monday. I will see you again in a little bit. I'm gonna go have breakfast. Postpartum update. Since why not? I'm sure like one person will care who's watching this. So I apologize if you don't care, just skip the next like I don't know 30 seconds but yeah not pregnant anymore as you can see I'll put a picture right here of what I used to look like but yeah she's uh she's gone and we've got some pudge still I am three weeks postpartum so that will go down but I can wear jeans again and hopefully my belly button goes back to normal but we'll see and everything's real squishy but we're doing really good and even though I have no ab strength and all the pudge right here, I still feel pretty good. Anyway, just wanted to give you that little update. Yeah, I'm alone tonight. I know some days we all cry. We break down, yeah, we lose our minds. Let it go sometimes. Got to let it go sometimes. Okay, hi, hello. So it's been two days since I've seen you. Happy Wednesday, by the way. Um, yeah, yesterday didn't, didn't vlog and that's mainly because we went to get haircuts and on the way home got in a car accident, which explains this situation. <laughs> um, everything's fine. I'm sorry if you hear noises like breathing and grunting and cooing because baby is currently just hanging out with me so that's just what it's gonna be from now on you may see a little top of the head every now and then but she's just sleeping right now anyway got in a car accident yesterday and luckily baby wasn't with us she was with nana at home while we got our hair cut because we didn't want to bring her with us because covid and it's very difficult to drive long distances with her but yeah, so now we have an insurance claim to make and we need to get the car fixed. And I was hit in the 
chin and chest with the car visor, the thing that blocks the sun. Uh, we were hit from behind and yeah, it sucked. And now my whole body hurts. <laughs> well, it's more like sore, but yeah. I'm three and a half weeks postpartum and we got in a car accident, so that's great. I'm gonna have to call my doctor today as well to make sure that I don't need to come in for a checkup since I still am recovering from major abdominal surgery. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday was crazy and let's hope things stop being crazy. That would be great. It has been just one thing after the other since I went into labor with her. So we need a break and more coffee. Anyway, I, on Monday, ended up reading the entirety of Winter's Orbit that I had left, which was, I don't know, 80 pages, except for the last chapter. So I'm going to do that today, hopefully. I still love it. I'm still gonna give it five stars at this point. Unless this last chapter really just Fs it up, it's gonna be a five star for me. And I'm excited that I finished a book, especially this book, because it's so good. Anyway, plans for today. Today, I need to put the baby laundry away because it's been sitting on the floor in a bin for like three days now. I'm going to drink more coffee. Mm. I think I'm gonna fix my nails. Currently, they are starting to grow out and it's looking disgusting. And I got some new semi-cured stick-ons. Mom hack right there. I think I'm gonna make a video about mom hacks or maybe just post it on the blog. If you didn't know, this YouTube channel was born from a blog that I don't post to very often anymore, but there are different things on the blog. So pragmastery.com if you are interested in reading some content. There's a lot on there, a lot more than you'll see on here. But stick on nails, the best way to feel like you've done something for yourself but you did it in like 20 minutes. I have some new ones and they're really cute. They're teddy bears, so I'll end up showing you if I use them today. And then I need to go to the grocery store, but I don't know if I can schedule an appointment this late in the day, so we'll see. But yeah, that's that's kind of the plan for today. I wanna finish Winter's Orbit, obviously. Yep, so I'll update you in a bit. I'm gonna go clean all the baby bottles and breast pump stuff now while trying to get her to take a nap. All right, bye. <laughs> Remember how I got in a car accident on Tuesday? Well, yesterday after I filled you in about our little Tuesday incident, had a little life get worse again situation. I'm wearing a binder around my torso as you can see because I got a contusion from the accident that swelled up once we were 24 hours past the accident. So I was fine when I updated you, I was feeling okay, but I have had a headache since the accident. And then my incision where I had the cesarean three and a half weeks ago had just gone down in swelling the day before the accident. And now it is very puffy and I look pregnant again when I had just gone back to normal. So I went to the ER last night, which was Wednesday night and yeah, they checked me out. I don't have any internal bleeding or anything. I don't have the pocket of blood thing that could happen. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the word up here that they were worried about. And the headache and neck pain and shoulder pain and spinal pain and hip pain that I've been having just within the last 24 hours is whiplash. So yay for me um my husband is fine he was in the driver's seat and he anticipated the crash because he could see the car coming from behind and he had like a few seconds to brace himself not enough time to warn me but enough time to brace himself and the car and he's fine he feels good so good for him they told me that day two and three are the worst pain wise if you are going to feel something and it's not serious and definitely I'm feeling it. I'm on day two now since the accident and I, this is the worst I've felt <laughs> since the accident. Um, the day after was like kind of sore but now it's it's pain and that's okay. I'm taking Tylenol and icing 
the uh, contusion and icing my head <laughs> and I know what to look out for just in case I do have something more serious pop up although very unlikely something that the doctor told me was that if something serious were to happen like internal bleeding or the um, I can't remember what it's called but the like pocket of blood thing when you're in incision um, if that if I were to have those two things it would have given me symptoms within three hours of the accident usually is what they say and I would have had like confusion and mental fog and stuff so I think I'm okay it's just got in a car accident and general car accident pain it happens right I expect to not feel super great following a car accident so I was in the ER last night um, pretty late and while I was there I finished a book I know who even am I Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell I finished it finally and I'm so happy with how it ended this book is great it's like a space opera romance don't expect hard sci-fi and don't expect just romance it's kind of like a really nice blend of the two i thought it was very well done and very clever and satisfying to read about love that and then while i was in the er i also started reading a little bit more of royal assassin because i was there for a very long time i only got a few more chapters into royal assassin so far it's tying up really interestingly i only have four chapters left i believe the audiobook says i only have three hours but I listen on double speed so it's actually like one and a half hours left so that's exciting I peeled off my nails yesterday before I went to the ER while I was on hold with the doctor's office to decide if I needed to go in and I have new ones that I'm gonna put on soon so I'll show you that because I'm gonna do it before the end of the week also can't believe that our child is gonna be a month old very soon that's my update went to the ER have a contusion have whiplash I'm not supposed to drive or anything right after I got permission to drive again after my cesarean, so that's great. And yeah, it's just one more physical healing process that I have to go through. That's my update. I actually read something. And now I'm going to try to maybe set up my journal for June. I haven't touched that thing since early April when I went into labor early. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go journal. Hubby is picking up Panda Express for us right now, so I'll have dinner pretty soon. I'm trying to stay more hydrated because I haven't been very good at hydrating, just because I'm so tired and I just forget about it when I'm taking care of the baby. I need to remember to take care of myself. I hope you're having a much better week than we are. <laughs> Goodbye, I'll see you in the next update. <laughs> Hey, hello. So I don't remember where I left you off yesterday. I did do my nails yesterday. They're really cute and I absolutely adore them. I think it's supposed to be a polar bear because they're called the Ice Age. I'll link which nails they are. Mom hack. Sorry, you can hear my baby crying on the monitor. I'll be right back. With a four week old baby, I actually made dinner yesterday and did my nails, although someone cried the whole time I did my nails. So luckily these stick on ones are amazing to put on so it was quite easy to stop what i was doing to help baby last night we had a rough night we needed a lot of holding in the middle of the night because we we're throwing up a lot i read a graphic novel while i was doing that yeah i read cody and it's about a bear and a little girl who doesn't have many friends and she makes friends with an injured bear and it's their journey and it's really cute like really really cute I <laughs> you smacking your little lips yeah I read the graphic novel Cody by Cullum I don't remember the first name of the author but anyway it's a very adorable graphic novel I would say it's probably kids to middle grade I think I'm gonna go buy a copy of it the graphic novel was super cute five stars five stars out of five stars i enjoyed all of it 
My baby just pooped. I'm gonna keep this short since I have a diaper to change, but Cody was super cute. Highly recommend it, especially for kids. It was really fun. It was a feel-good graphic novel even for adults, and I'll flash some art up on the screen right now from the book, but it is really beautifully illustrated with watercolor, and the art style is adorable. I don't know what it reminds me of. I think it reminds me of the movie Up a little bit, with the art style. Very cute. Just very cute. I love it, and I can't recommend it enough. I got it through my library as an ebook on Libby, so that's wonderful. It was free, and now I'm gonna go buy it to support the author, and because I know I like it. So, yeah, I actually read something. I finished three books in this vlog. Who even am I? She's pooping again. Hey. I don't think you're there, but it's 2 a.m. I'm awake and scared. I'm alone tonight. Yeah, I'm alone tonight. Do you still sleep with that old brown bed that I won for you at our first aid fair? I'm alone tonight. Yeah, I'm alone tonight. I know some days we. Hi, hello. So, sorry for the white noise in the background. Baby is sleeping in the same room as me, so wish me luck that I don't wake her up. Now I'm gonna explain <laughs> what I'm going to read next, which is a lot actually, so buckle up for a second. My ebook hold came in on Cloud Library for To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. This is a sci-fi novella that is character driven, which apparently Becky Chambers is known for. I've never read anything by this author, but books with Emily Fox talks about this uh, author's books all the time, so I'm excited to try it out. I got the ebook because right now I'm not physically reading. I am reading ebooks on my phone and my Kindle for when I'm taking care of Bebe. So, yeah, this is the first one. I think this is gonna be like my priority ebook, like full length book, even though it's a novella, but you get the point. And then, I also, on Libby, which is the library's other app, have Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise, The Omnibus. So it's part one, two, and three all in one. We love that. But yeah, those are the things I'm currently reading. I'll get through the Avatar graphic novel series. Hopefully, I'm just, I'm just gonna go through them in order. So right now I'm on the first one, which is The Promise. And then we'll go from there. I think my library has all of them. I should have checked before I started, but I know there's at least most of them on there. And then, yeah, that's basically it. My hold for A Dark and Hollow Star will come in in four days for both the audiobook and the ebook. Yesterday was Sunday. I had my lunch date with my husband because his mom came and took care of the baby for us, so we went on a quick little lunch to a cafe. It was lovely. I don't take videos on weekends, and I didn't do any reading yesterday. I am 9% into the ebook of the Avatar graphic novel, and that's all I've done as of yesterday. So yeah, my husband went back to work today. It's been chaos trying to get baby to sleep and still do the things I need to do throughout the day, especially during this leap because she needs me to hold her like all the time. She just went down for a nap, so we'll see how long that lasts. She's already grunting, so <laughs> not long. That is all for my update currently. I will update you again when I've actually finished a book. Depends on how much sleep we end up getting because of the little being over there that determines how much I sleep. I just swap sleep for reading now. Yay me. Later. <laughs> Hi, hello. It is Wednesday, May 26th, the last week of May. I cannot believe it. Sorry for the cooing and sleepy noises you're gonna hear. There is a small being within my wrap t-shirt, which is, by the way, a lifesaver. I would not get anything done. I'd never get to eat food or do laundry or anything if I didn't have this thing. Just make sure you look up how to use it and safety.
for your baby and their age. It's been a few days because life has been crazy. It continues to just get harder, especially since my husband is not working again and he is busy. It's kind of just me and her figuring things out and just doing things. We were up at three this morning and we didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> We just cried the whole time, so I had to move us to the nursery. Very tired. I put on some makeup to make it not obvious to others that I'm exhausted. So, there's that. It is 1.30 p.m. now, and I'm just having breakfast and coffee. That's the life right now, but it's okay. We love it. It's temporary. But oatmeal is currently making itself in the kitchen. I have my coffee. I had a granola bar around 5 this morning. We got a few hours of sleep total, so that's good. <laughs> Better than nothing. And I actually finished a book. I finished the Avatar first graphic novel, The Promise, Part 1, 2, and 3. I believe those are all separate volumes normally, but I read the Omnibus, so it only counts as one book. Tell me in the comments. If you read an omnibus, do you count each volume individually, like each book individually for your Goodreads or your story graph, or do you just count it as one book since it is one book? Anyway, my camera battery is about to die and I'm too lazy to go get a new one so let's be quick. I really loved it, five stars. My only complaint was that certain characters that are in a new relationship call each other sweetie and it made me want to throw up. I know it was for humor effect, but I think it would have been funnier if it was just any other word like babe or honey or cupcake or whatever. Something else cringy, but sweetie, rub me the wrong way. But that is literally my only complaint. This was one of the best written graphic novels I've ever read. If you've watched the Avatar Last Airbender show, then you will adore the graphic novels because you already have an idea of what the characters sound like and their personalities and it really comes through in the dialogue. Nothing is left out and I don't think much at all is lost to the medium of graphic novels, which is a whole topic, but I do believe sometimes graphic novels suffer from their medium, not having enough detail, not enough characterization, not enough plot because it's limited to images and dialogue. Does that make sense? So. I think this graphic novel was amazing. Well, part one, two, and three, so the series, The Promise, and I highly recommend it if you like the Avatar show. But yeah, and then now I am about 20 to 30 percent into To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. Sorry, I'm very tired. I got the ebook on Cloud Library and I've been reading that while up at night with my friend here. Loving that so far. We'll see where it goes, but currently loving the writing style seems very well written and overall just enjoying it. But now I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast while she's asleep and see what I can get done before she wakes up again for foods. So I will see you again momentarily. I know some days we all cry, we break down, yeah, we lose our minds, let it go sometimes. Got to let it go sometimes. I know some days we all cry We break down, yeah, we lose our minds I know some days we all cry But let's trust life Okay, hi, hello. So this is going to be the last clip of the vlog. I want to cover what I read and kind of close out for next week. I'm going to take the weekend off because I'm tired and it's Memorial Day three-day weekend. To cover what I read, I was reading To Be Taught If Fortunate on Cloud Library. This is by Becky Chambers. I have the ebook of this and I got about 20% into this before I decided to end this vlog, before the end of the week. I'm 20% into this and so far this is super intriguing. I kind of get what Emily Fox is saying about it being character driven sci-fi. I did not expect the writing style, I didn't expect what this would be about, and I'm very interested to continue reading so that you can kind of hear my thoughts on it. You can always follow me on Instagram, on Goodreads, and I post my reviews there as I'm reading. So that's more of an up-to-date as I'm going. You'll get 
updates on what I'm reading and what I'm feeling about it. So I do recommend following there if you want to follow in real time. Otherwise, you're going to see this pretty late after I read this. And I'm not going to say anything about this because it's a novella, but just know sci-fi about exploring other exoplanets, so planets outside of our universe. It takes place in the future, I believe it's 2085. That's about 60 years from now, and it's very interesting. That's all I have. <laughs> it's about exploring other planets for life, and what that means for the humans that have to do it, because it is a journey. <laughs> I finished Artificial Condition, the second book in the Murderbot series, and I loved this one more than the first one. I talked about this already, but I love this series. If you want something funny, yeah, it's just all around a good time. It's like a little TV show almost to read them because they're so quick and kind of episodic in nature. So if you want to see my full review of this, also on Instagram. So yeah. And last, I finished Winter's Orbit. This is a space opera romance about a prince who is arranged to marry the count of a different planet. The prince is the least like grandson of the emperor. She really doesn't like him <laughs> and has no faith in him. He's kind of just like the screw up grandchild, if that makes sense. The partier, the didn't really go into the military or into politics, kind of just screws around. And then he's to marry his cousin's widow because his cousin died and his cousin's widow is a representative of a planet that is on the verge of rebellion against the empire so it's about this treaty that needs to get signed and they're trying to figure out some other mystery going on about some crimes happening and also learning to navigate court politics and to love each other and deal with their situation because an arranged marriage doesn't always start out well and sometimes it doesn't even end well and this book was a cinnamon roll of a book i had the best time reading this this is probably going to be my book of the year we'll see but i i wholeheartedly stand behind this book i love it the author is queer there's queer representation casually in this book it is so casual i love it it's joyous and it's cute and I love the characters, I loved the plot. Don't go into this expecting just romance or just sci-fi. It's a mixture of both so you'll be disappointed if you expect just one. Again, full review on Instagram and I'll probably copy it over to Goodreads as well. So if you're interested in that, here it is. Also, the author puts the content warnings on her website. The next book I also read was a graphic novel called Cody by Jared Cullum. I read this through Libby. My library offered the ebook of the graphic novel and I adored it. It was just perfection. It was so cute. Five stars, definitely. If you want to look into a smaller author that makes amazingly beautiful watercolor graphic novels with wholesome stories, I hope that this becomes a series because it's really cute. I highly recommend support smaller authors. Even if you can't do it by buying it, check it out from the library. It makes them look good, gives them stats, and they get paid more. So please do that. And the last thing I read is Avatar The Last Airbender The Promise by Jean Luen Yang. I believe I said that correctly. <laughs> so this is the omnibus of volume 1, 2, and 3 of The Promise, which is the first little series of graphic novels in the Avatar graphic novel world going on. <laughs> There's a lot of them, but this is the first one. Absolutely amazing. The story was so well written. The characters are exactly how they are in the show. If you haven't watched the show, I don't think this would be for you. You may not understand what's happening, but it takes place exactly after the show ends and it's really good. I only had one qualm with it was that two characters that start dating in the beginning of this one call each other sweetie and it hurts me. <laughs> I really don't like that. Other than that though, I think it was perfect and I think that's just a personal nitpick. So, you know, take that as you will. It, it's just cringy, but it didn't totally hinder my experience. I'm still giving this book five stars. The Omnibus. Sorry, my cat is rolling around the floor behind me. Thank you for watching my two week reading vlog. I read four books and almost one other and I had a great time. So if you liked this, please like 
and comment down below if you count omnibuses as one book or if you count all the individual volumes or editions or printings, whatever, all the separate books inside an omnibus or not because I'm very curious to see what other people do. Check out Instagram, Pinterest, there's all kinds of things that I have. They're all linked in the description. Also, my journal is from Archer and Olive and I have a discount code with them. It is Pragmastery, so if you use the link down below, you're supporting this channel, but you're also gonna get a nice discount. So if you can get a discount on expensive stationery, I recommend it. Have a wonderful day or night. I hope your next read is everything you need and more and surprises you in the best of ways. I will see you in the next one. See is the